We're recording. Hello, I'm Paul Vanuk from Recording Magazine. Welcome to our latest video review. Today we're taking a look at the new Alpha 80 Evo powered studio monitor from Focal, which I also review in the March 2022 issue of Recording Magazine. Based in France, Focal has been at the forefront of speaker design and technology for over 40 years. The company's broad selection of studio monitors are very popular in music studios the world over. In our September 2021 issue, we reviewed the Alpha 65 Evo powered studio monitor, an updated second generation take on the entry level Alpha series. Also released at that time was the smaller Alpha 50 Evo, and now the Alpha Evo lineup expands again with two additional models. These include the just announced Alpha Twin Evo and the Alpha 80 Evo, which we are looking at today. Since 2014, the Alpha series has been the affordable gateway into the world of Focal Studio monitors. The new Evo models are both an upgrade and a redesign of the original Alpha models, which I reviewed back in our December 2014 issue. Each of the Alpha Evo models is a similarly styled two way active design, with the exception of the Alpha Twin Evo which features side-by-side 6.5-inch -side drivers similar in style to the company's popular Twin 6 BE monitor. Considering the broad range of materials used in the company's woofers and tweeters over the past decades, Focal is on an endless quest for materials that will offer the best sonic attributes and performance in its loudspeaker designs. This includes the W composite material used in the SM series cones, flax in the Focal shape line, and polyglass in the original Alpha models. The high frequencies of the Alpha Evo are handled by a 1-inch aluminum inverted dome tweeter seated in a custom dispersion controlling waveguide unique to this series. The low end is driven by the newly developed slate fiber cone. Slate fiber is made of recycled, non-woven carbon fibers blended with a thermoplastic polymer. The result is improved velocity, better bass, and better dampening. The Alpha Evo series is constructed of vinyl covered MDF with rounded, molded plastic side panels. Instead of the previous dual port design, the new Alpha Evos use a new, large, internally fluted laminar base port, offering even better low end extension as it vents and disperses the low frequency energy. Optional black grills are also included to cover and protect the drivers, and they look pretty stylish too. While it's the largest vertical standing model in the line, the new Alpha 80 Evo is both shorter and wider than the previous model, and it's about 7 pounds lighter. The Alpha 80 Evo is a bi-amped Class D design with 115 watts of power. That's 80 watts to the woofer and 35 watts to the tweeter. It also has 106 dB SPL. Interestingly, its specs show it has a tad less output than the original 140 watt, 109 dB SPL Alpha 80, as well as a tighter frequency response. While I wasn't able to do a side-by-side -side comparison, the new Alpha 80 Evo shows no signs of being underpowered in any way. For inputs, there are a choice of balanced XLR and quarter inch and unbalanced RCA, and the input sensitivity can be switched between zero and plus six dB. To help tune the Alpha Evo monitors to your room and to taste, there are a pair of low and high shelving filters. Lastly, a built-in sleep mode gently switches off the speaker after 15 minutes of inactivity and brings it back to life when the signal returns. Unlike past Focal offerings, this feature is now optional via a rear located switch adjacent to the master power switch. While automatically powering off inactive monitors can be handy, sometimes I find that these and other monitors can still shut down when listening at low volume, usually late at night. So being able to disable this feature is a very welcome addition. So how do they sound? My first spin with the Alpha 80 Evo was in my home office editing suite, where I usually use a pair of Focal Solo 6 BE monitors. I expected the bass to be very strong there, and there was in fact way too much for that room to handle. Dialing in the low end filter did help to rein the sound in. And then despite the size and throw of the monitors, the imaging and clarity were stunning.
Moving to my studio, Moss Garden Music, I set them up alongside my Focal Trio 11 BE monitors, and it was a different story. Well, I expected the three-way Trio 11 BE to blow the entry-level speaker away, I will say, when it came to filling the room with sound, and even maintaining a respectable low end, the Alpha 80 Evo held its own. These babies can crank loud and proud without any breakup or loss of clarity. While the 10-inch Trio 11 BE has an extended low-end reach that you can really feel, the Alpha 80 Evo is a powerful bass contender in its own right with a full and lush representation. Even with low-level listening, the low-end was palpable. Overall, the Alpha 80 Evo exhibits a wide, clear sound with a full low-end bloom. The Alpha 80 Evo is even more open on the top end in the air range than the Solo 6 or the Trio 11. And like the Alpha 65 Evo, the Alpha 80 Evo has a more open, recessed mid-range that highlights a great sense of depth. All three two-way Alpha Evo models exhibit a well-developed, familial sound. As you move from small to large, the soundstage gets more open, the upper mids and highs become better seated, and the lows go from tight and forward to full and robust. Although there are just two filter controls, each Alpha Evo is very tonally malleable. You can tame the highs without them sounding muffled, and you can control or pump the bass with ease. Focal also sent me the compact 13-pound Alpha 50 Evo. The 5-inch Alpha 50 Evo offers the tightest and punchiest low-end response of the family, and while not as room-filling as the larger models, it will project ample bass for mixing in a smaller space. Due to the size of the Alpha 50 Evo, it's better suited to smaller mix rooms where you will be closer to the monitors. The Alpha 50 Evo offers an enveloping and dimensional soundstage in line with the rest of the series, even at comfortable mix levels around 70 dB. You can also crank it up to the mid-90s with no breakup, distortion, or collapsing of the space. Plus, its weight makes it a perfect traveling companion for remote mixing gigs. As an owner of both the Trio 11 and Solo 6 models, I consider myself pretty familiar with the Focal sound. But which Focal sound? Unlike companies that take a more linear good, better, best approach when it comes to sound and price, Focal currently offers three studio monitor lines, each with a completely different sonic signature to choose from. The high-end, studio-focused tonality of the SM series, the natural neutrality of the Shape series, and now the full dimensional clarity of the Alpha Evo line. After being so accustomed to the solid presentation of the Solo and Trio models, I'll admit that it's taken me a little bit of time to get used to mixing with the depth offered by the Alpha 80 Evo. However, I'm really enjoying the new perspective. Despite its entry-level status, the Alpha 80 Evo is an impressive-sounding, serious professional monitoring option that I can recommend without hesitation. They're also quite comfortable and easy to kick back and listen to. If you'd like to learn more about the Alpha 80 Evo or any of the other models in the line, head over to Focal.com. Also, be sure to check out my review of the Alpha 65 Evo in the September 2021 issue and the Alpha 80 Evo and Alpha 50 Evo in the March 2022 issue of Recording Magazine. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us the thumbs up below, leave a comment, and say hi. Make sure you subscribe to Recording's YouTube page for further video reviews, product comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Then stop by our website, recordingmag.com, for the best in all things recording, where you can check out Recordings Podcast, and better yet, subscribe to our print publication, which is now in its 35th year. We'll see you soon.